Hi everybody, Scott Kelby here, and I want to show you how to remove distracting junk from your photos. A lot of times in landscape photos, we get everything from power lines to garbage on the floor, maybe a beer can, something horrible that's destroying your landscape image. Let me show you how to get rid of it. First, we'll start in Camera Raw because Camera Raw is in Elements, it's in Photoshop, it's also in Lightroom because Lightroom's develop module is Camera Raw. They took Camera Raw and popped it right into the develop module. It's the same sliders that do the same thing in the same order. All right, let's start here in Camera Raw. And what we'll do is we're going to take this brush right here. The brush is called the Spot Removal Brush. Make sure the type is set to Heal. And all you have to do is click and paint right over the thing you want to remove. We're going to remove this little seaweed junk down here at the bottom. And then you let go and it's gone. Now, this checkbox here, the Show Overlay, will be on. So what this shows here is First, the, the red dotted area shows the area that you fixed, the area that you healed, that you removed spots. The green area shows which part of the photo, a clean area of the photo that it chose to use to fix that. If you don't like the way it fixed it, grab the green area and move over here and say, well, how about if I chose this area over here? And it will try to refix it and reanalyze how about over here. If you pick a place that's totally wrong, it'll look weird. So you want to find something that's kind of nearby. That's why it chooses one that's kind of close, but one that it thinks is clear and it works pretty well. So you can just go around the image. Now, if you're trying to paint and it won't paint at all, just means that you have an older version of Camera Raw. In that case, you're not able to paint. You're just going to be able to click to make things go away. So let me remove these pins. You just click on them and hit Delete, and it removes them. In that case, if you have an older version, you're just going to click once, and it draws a circle, and then shows you the area that it came from. So you would just be drawing, you would just click instead of painting strokes. If you have an older version, there we go. You're just going to click and get rid of them that way. All right, so that's for Photoshop, Elements, and Lightroom. But there's also a way, of course, just in Photoshop itself. Let's hold the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on PC and hit Reset so we bring all the junk back. Let's open it up in Photoshop, and I'll show you a couple of ways to get rid of it here. So inside of Photoshop, you can use a couple of different tools. Of course, you can use the Healing Brush, the same one that we just saw, but for getting rid of junk like this, switch to the Spot Healing Brush, which is very similar to the one that's in Camera Raw. And you just click for individual things. If it's something a little longer, like this maybe, you can click and drag over it, paint completely over it, and it goes away. But what's nice about it, it doesn't show you the little area where it's sampled at. So that's the Spot Healing Brush, great for getting rid of little junk all over the photo like this. Another way, if it's something large like this big piece of seaweed here, you can actually switch to the patch tool right here. The patch tool, you drag a selection around it. You kind of draw like a little lasso around it. You're going to drag some place that's kind of close by that has kind of a similar texture or look. Let go and look, it's gone. Here we'll do it again. Put a selection around it. Drag to a similar area nearby. See how I'm kind of, it shows you a preview of what you're about to fix. So you don't want to do this, right? Or some crazy thing. I'm kind of going right along that little shoreline to where when I let go, it looks pretty natural. So it looks like it might have smeared just a little bit. Let's try that again, because sometimes it will do that. Let's move down a little further and see if we can get a better patch there. Oh, that's a little better. You can also try to change your patch style from normal to content aware. It uses a different algorithm that sometimes is better and sometimes is worse. And this time, I think it was actually quite a bit better. So you can try content aware as a fallback position. But there's a couple of ways you can get rid of it. One more is the clone stamp tool. The clone stamp tool works differently than the others. It's actually going to pick up an area right here and not just analyze the texture and stuff. It's making a clone, a copy. So if I Option click on this spot. I'm saying clone this spot here right over this spot here. So you want to do it pretty close by. So I'm cloning this spot here right over that spot. This spot here right over those spots. And that's how that works. Here's one out in the water we probably would want to get rid of. But you can see got rid of a lot of junk in this photo. Let's option click right nearby. 
And there's still some little things you get up around the edges and stuff, but that gives you an idea of the process of getting rid of that junk that ruins so many landscape photos.